I'll begin by saying my name, uh, Jackson Nsore Ole Sapit. Uh, I was born and bred in Narok, uh, born in 1964, uh, to a polygamous family. Actually, my father had uh, 11 wives, considered one of the richest uh, men in that uh, region with many cows. Uh, that's why he could be able to afford to marry many, many wives. My mother was uh, number seven in the line, and, uh, but unfortunately my father died in 1969 when I was just four years old. My mother took us to where she was born, to her, her, her siblings, her, her brothers, and uh, that's where I, I grew up. Uh, we went with our cows from my father, but uh, that part of the uh, Mass Island was invested by East Coast Fever, a disease uh, spread by ticks, uh, which was not the case in the highlands where we were. So uh, our cows are almost uh, wiped out by that uh, disease. And uh, we grew up uh, basically with almost nothing. But again, uh, from my uncle's uh, uh, side, uh, we did not have also, uh, they did not have enough land, so I did not have enough land to inherit. And one of the men who married my sister, because I was the, I'm the only son of my mother, I have three sisters, so the one who married my younger sister uh, convinced uh, the group members because he, their land was not subdivided that they include me as a member of a group ranch uh, in a place called Olenden where uh, we still have a farm and a house now. So I moved into that village after finishing high school in 1984 and that's where I went to interact with a, first, uh, with a missionary from England who was running a mobile clinic and establishing a small Anglican church uh, in that community. And uh, slowly by slowly she introduced me to Christianity. Uh, I think that I came to accept the Lord Jesus Christ in 1995 as my Lord and Savior. And besides that, I also was doing some work like uh, cattle trading, uh, buying cows uh, in Narok and uh, driving them all the way on foot to Nairobi, about to 150 kilometers. Uh, I think my inspiration is uh, Probably looking at that background, uh, losing a father, and uh, when I came to Christianity and I found that God is our father, but I found that he's also a caring God at the same time, uh, I decided to uh, really follow him and uh, make sure that nobody's going to suffer the way he suffered. And uh, right now, even in the diocese, we are sponsoring about 1,950 ch 1, children putting through school with the help of partnerships. Uh, one is CDC and uh, Compassion International, uh, and it has always been my passion to see others uh, grow. Um, it, it, it was like uh, a mixed reaction, although I expected it, but it was like, oh, is it me really? Uh, not, not. Uh, I will not say with uh, too much that excitement that you want to jump. You know there is that excitement like when you are a runner and you win a race and you just like put your hand and a fist and say, yes, I've done it. Uh, to me, it wasn't uh, something of that nature. To me, it was like, that is when it dawned on me, that uh, I'm now the person expected uh, to lead this great church and uh, be one of the leaders in this country and the world at large. Uh, so, so that was the time I faced the reality. And uh, I think there was a mixture of a shock and, uh, and excitement. Uh, that moment where you lose words to say, my passion has been a better future for this country and for the world. And if we are going to create that future, we must pay special attention to our children, the molding, the training, the capacity we are building upon them, as to, and, and especially the youth. And the youth in this country and the world that large are facing a lot of challenges. There is a alcohol and drug abuse that is a ruining the very fabric of our society, and especially the youth. Uh, there is also uh, uh, other cultures that are coming in, uh, in because of uh, globalization. And I'm really passionate that uh, we can have programs that give the, the youth uh, a proper focus in life. I, I think the Anglican Church has a bright future. Uh, I am conscious that uh, we have been going through a lot of leadership transition uh, and I think uh, quite a number of primates now we are having are quite uh, new and young and energetic. Uh, so I hope to see uh, a, a vibrancy and a new life being injected into the leadership of the Anglican Church.